Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to be walking you through how to complete the Sojourner of Revendreth. Hopefully this video will help you. If it does, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is head to Darkhaven and right at the bridge here we want to pick up the quest from Dimwhittle, a curious invitation, in which case make our way over to this elevator right here, take that down. Alright, once we've taken that down, we're going to make our way straight up this road here and we'll talk to the courier. Um, Dimwhittle sent me and turn that in pick up the next quest the lay of the land in which case we need to go over here and click on Nadia now that we've done that we're going to make our way over here we're going to get this journal Click on that, open it, and then make our way back out here to Nadja. Oh, not to Nadja, to the carrier. Turn that in. Then we're going to get the quest from Nadja. If I can get up there. Finders, Keepers, Sinners, Weepers. So we need to question Dobble Wobble. We need to come over here. Question Cob Wobble. Now we need to come over here. Question Slob Wobble. Okay, now we've got to collect the three sin stones. So there's one right here. Oh, he's angry. The next one is going to be down here. And these are all shown in your mini map. Kill this guy. And make our way down to the third one here. In which case we'll have to kill the guy that attacks us. Or run away well i guess not all right we then make our way back to nudja we're gonna turn in that quest pick whichever item and then pick up the next two quests find vintage and uh, and active ingredients so for that we're going to make our way over here We need to kill spiders. And from the spiders, we're going to loot the quest item wherever it went, which is the uh, venom gland. And then we're also going to loot these flowers until we get all 60. All right, and then we want to make our way over here. We've got to come down here and into this catacomb here. Make our way down. And we need to collect Well, we need to kill this guy who's an elite. We can throw those at him to stun him. But yeah, just kill him. Okay, once he's dead, just loot him up. And now we will return all right once we've made it to nadja we're going to turn those into her and pick up the next quest quest and talk to the courier gotta get super close and send the message now we need to poison this bottle by clicking on it 
Right after a moment, this taskmaster will appear. We turn in the quest to him. We're going to click on the glass. And he drinks it. We drank it. Now we go through some RP, it might seem. No, we have to click on him. Okay, and then turn the quest into her. Pick whichever item, of course. And then pick up her next quest. Which is going to have us go this way. Alright, so once we arrive here, we're going to run into these guys. Going to damage them a bit. And then we're going to try and compel them. And if it doesn't compel, we still need to kill 12 of them. And when you compel them, they'll turn green like this and become friendly. Alright, so once you've completed that, it wants you to meet Nadja up here. In order to do so, you've got to come here and walk into this tower. Climb on these, and then we'll run our way up. Once we locate her, we'll turn in the quests and pick up the next quest. Not just dual completed, in which case we need to come over here, click on this gate, and make our way over here. Once we've made our way over here, the Taskmaster will be here, and we're going to attack and help Nadja kill him. Once he's defeated, Nadja will run back to the tower. We turn that in, and then that completes the portion, the duelist debt. All right, next up, we want to make our way here on the map. We're going to talk to Rendell and pick up the quest, Not My Job, which is going to have us come down here. All right, and after a minute of making it here, Rendell will finally show up. We click on him, and we get the quest, It's a Dirty Job, in which case we have to throw this rubble so basically just find six rocks and click on them all right once you've clicked on all six rocks come back to Rendell, turn that in and get the next quest treasure dredged we're gonna come right here and click that now we need to throw him at a rubble pile right here. So we're gonna make our way over very ever so slowly. Then once we get here, we can click that. And now it's gonna have us defend him. So in my case, nothing really showed up. But once he's done, click on that get the gem and make our way back try to go a little bit faster this time here and turn to the quest to Rendell now witness the ritual so we'll watch him for a little bit of RP after a moment this big dude will pop up and we've got to speak with him so we turn that in, and then we need to board him. So just click on that. And now... Oh, do we? Yeah, we control him. Now we get to go around killing things. So that's a heal. That's some sort of charge. Regular hit. And a big stomp. So, yep, run around killing 25 of these guys. We also need to find these rifts, 
in which case we're going to go over here and we're going to kill the Rift Keeper. And that counts as the portal being closed. We've got to do three of those. All right, once you've done all that, the quest will update, and we need to come up here and kill this big dude. If I can get through. All right, big dude, let's do this. Okay, once the big dude is done, he will automatically start running you back to Rendell. Once he drops you off, just walk the way, walk the rest of the way to Rendell, turn that in, and that completes the dirty jobs portion of this. All right, next up, we need to make our way over here, off of the Sanctuary of the Mad Flight Path, and we need to speak with Laurent, and he's gonna give us the quest and unfortunate situation from here we're gonna make our way this way up to here and then once we get there we're going to be presented with these three go ahead and defeat them once they're defeated we'll loot them and pick up Lawrence's belongings and take it back to him all right and once back here just turn those in, pick up the next quest, which is going to have us follow him for a little while. Okay, after a moment of following him, we'll need to click on this mirror fragment, pick that up, and then we're going to follow him some more. Okay, and then after another few moments, we'll be presented with another one that we need to click on, and then we'll continue to follow him, repeating this process. All right, and after a little bit further, he will lead you here, where we are going to turn in that quest, and pick up the next quest to free her. In which case we need to click on these. Wait for a moment of RP. Then we can turn in the quest to her, pick up her new quest, and pick up his new quest. So in this case we need to kill 10 of these Ashen Ravengers, and we also need to free five outcasts by clicking on the mirrors. All right, after you've done all that, we come back to Laurent, turn in his quest, turn in Simone's quest, and then pick up both of their quests. From here, we're going to make our way up to here, and in which case, we need to kill the Venthyr. We'll also need to make our way into these buildings and look for this stored anima. Click it. They can also be found outside on areas basically just click any jar to collect the anima. All right, and once you've looted all the shards or fragments and you've collected all the anima, I'm gonna return back to Laurent and Simone, turn in those quests, pick up the new quests from Laurent and we're just gonna follow him. He will lead us up here and we need to speak with him. In which case he will do this uh, anima channel and we have to defend him. Alright, after you've defended him enough, the bar will fill to 100 and then you can turn in the quest to Laurent. Pick any item you want. And now you have completed the mirror maker of the master. Alright, next up we want to make our way here. We're going to talk to Mistress Mahela and get the quest from her, which is going to have us come outside. Wait, I don't need to go up there. It'll have us come outside here. And we need to collect the tithe. We can get that by collecting it from these dead bodies. 
and we can also collect it from these villagers that are glowing. So just run around in this area and collect as much as you can until you get to 100%. Alright, and once you've completed 100%, you'll come back to the mistress, turn in that quest. Okay, and then we need to make our way up here, talk to Lojas, pick up the quest Reason for Treason. Alright, from here we're going to go over here, and we're going to talk to him, Let's say ask about suspicious activity. Okay, and then we're going to make our way over here and talk to Globnob, ask him about the activity. Hmm. We're then going to uh, follow him a moment. will lead us back here where we can search this or rummage through it, whatever be the case. That'll give us the suspicious message. And now we want to make our way over here. And talk to Bela. Ask him about suspicious activity. Ask the ghosts. Wait for a little bit of RP. This manifestation of fear will pop up. We'll kill it. Another one pops up. Do the same and continue for a moment. Okay, after a while of killing those, it'll complete. And in which case, we're gonna make our way back over here. And we'll turn in the quest to Lajos. Okay, then he gives us the next, que next quest. And then there were none. Okay, we're gonna go over here to the right. We're going to talk to Ilka. Give her the invitation. Then we're going to come over here. And into this area. Where we'll head upstairs. Like so. Then we're going to talk to Samu. Give him the invitation. Now, wants us to go back out of here. And we need to make our way over here. So we're gonna follow and try not to get hit by the cart like I did. But we're gonna come into here. That'll lead us down. We go all the way down. And now we wait for a little bit of RP. Okay, and after the RP, Rahel will be down here. And we turn in this quest. And that completes the Tithes of Darkhaven portion. Alright, next up we need to make our way here. And we need to talk to Arcanist Fane. Get the quest to meet the Accuser at the Absolution Crypt. Or rather our forgotten purpose in which case we need to make our way away over here all right and once we've made it here we're gonna come inside of here and make our way down and then we're going to talk to the accuser pick up the quest the abuse of power in which case we need to come down here and subjugate the abused soul. We'll defeat this shattered soul. 
Once that's done, we make our way back up here and turn the quest into the accuser. Pick up the next quests, the proper punishment, the proper tools, and the proper souls. All right, we need to make our way here and we're going to find Fada. We're going to kill him. Once we kill him, we're going to loot. And then we need to kill the Venthyr in this area in an attempt to loot the robes, the tome, and the dagger. Oh wow. Pirate King. Alright, we also need to look for these fugitive souls. And we need to rescue four of them just by simply clicking on them. Alright, and once we have all that, he wants us to meet us at the, it says at the Halls of Atonement. But in actuality, it's just right there. You can see that on the map. So we'll turn in all the quests to her. And now it wants us to start the absolution ritual. In which case we're gonna follow her right over here. And wait for a little bit of RP to go on. We'll then talk to her and say I'm ready to begin the ritual. And then we go through it. As the ritual's going, of course different things are gonna spawn. We just have to take care of them. After a little while of doing that, we can then turn in the quest to her. In which case we get the ritual of judgment. We'll need to follow her down to here or there on the map. Once we make it and she stands still, we need to click on her and say, I'm ready to begin the ritual. Okay, now it changes to soul judged. Right after a bit of RP, we can then turn in the quest to the accuser and then it gives us the quest Arcanist Fane. In which case we need to locate him. We're gonna make our way down here. Oh, don't get stuck like I did. Boy, there we go. Okay. And he's gonna be down here. So we're turning that quest. And then we pick up his quest, Missing Stone Fiend, and the Sinstone Archive. Right, so we need to kill the depraved archivists so that we can loot them. And they'll have the records here, which we need to get a hundred of. We'll also get the quest Atonement Crypt Key, which we do want. All right, after we get the 100, we need to make our way up here. We need to come to these crypts and open. Okay, and then we need to make our way here to the Crypt Keeper. And we're gonna turn in those quests. And we get the quest rebuilding the tunnel. In which case we need to come over here. We need to click on this. Loot his head. All right, we then want to make our way here and pick up the quest from him. And then also come right over here and pick up Temmel's body. OK, 
Okay, for thizzles, we want to look on the ground for these and simply collect eight of those. We also want to make our way here, collect his wings. All right, once you've completed all of that, we're going to come back to Chisel Grump. We'll turn in that quest. Then we're going to make our way over here, back to the Crypt Keeper, turn in that quest, pick up his next quest, return to serve, or ready to serve, which is to return to the Arcanist down here. Okay, once we're back at the Archivist, we're going to turn in the two quests we have left, and then we pick up the next quest, Hunting an Inquisitor. That's going to have us make our way over here. All right, once we've made our way here, we're going to be confronted with these guys. So we're going to kill the first two. And then once we kill them, after a moment of RP, we're going to click this, then defeat him. Okay, once he's done, or once he's killed, we'll get this, which is a part of a different achievement. And then we need to return back over here to turn in the quest down here. So just make our way there, turn it into Arch Archivist Fane. Okay, and now he gives us the quest, Halls of Atonement, your absolution, which just means we need to go into the Halls of Atonement dungeon and fight our way to the end. All right, once you've completed the Halls of Atonement, we just come back here and we're gonna run down here like so and turn in the quest to crescent and now we've completed the final atonement part of this achievement all right next up we need to make our way here and talk to sabina we're gonna pick up the quest from her uh, arousing aroma for this quest we need to locate these ravenous swarms and we need to defeat them in attempts to loot the quest items they're mostly going to be located in these dead trees and we need to loot that swarm toxin all right and once you have all four swarm toxin we're going to turn that back into sabina and pick up her next two quests. In which case we're going to go over here. And we need to go through these rubble piles to get the shackle key. We also need to make our way up here. Cross right here come over to this location and the quest will update to search for clues we need to click on the dagger we need to click on the satchel and then we need to click on this book okay once that's done we'll go back and turn that in once back at Sabina we just turn both of those in and then we're gonna get the next quest setting Sabrina, uh, Sabina free. We're going to click on this chain here and let the RP go down. It takes about 10 seconds for it to release. There we go. And now we defeat Sabina. Okay, after defeating Sabina, a quest will pop up that you accept. You then will have completed the Revelations of Light, which means you've now completed the Sierner of Ravendreth. 
and if you've done all of these quests, which I have videos available for, you'll have the Lore Master of Shadowlands. Hopefully this video was helpful and enjoyable. If it did help, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.